Hi kindergartners, this is Miss Moses here for our Friday morning math lesson. This week we have been working on solving word problems in math and we're going to keep doing that today. So by the end of our lesson, students will be able to solve word problems. Let's do it. So I'll show you how to solve two. We'll do two together and then there will be two for you to do by yourself. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. This says, Leilani needs five eggs to make her cake. She has three. How many more eggs does she need? Okay, so I see here that it says, Leilani needs five eggs to make her cake. But she only has three right now. So if she has three eggs, three plus how many more to equal five? How many more eggs does she need if she needs to have five to make her cake? Well, I can count on from three. So I can count on three, four, five. So she's going to need two more eggs. I could also draw circles. So I know that there's already three, so I can count on until I get to five. So three, four, five. So I drew two more circles. Let's see if I was right. Let's see how many eggs show up. Two more eggs, I was correct. Three plus two equals five. Leilani needs two more eggs to have five for her cake. Okay, watch me solve this one. This one's about Noelle. Noelle has nine cookies. Five of his cookies are chocolate chip cookies. How many are Oreos? So Noel has nine cookies all together. So he's supposed to have nine. These five are chocolate chip. So five chocolate chip plus how many Oreos equals nine. So five chocolate chip cookies plus how many Oreos equals nine. So I'm going to count on from five until I get to nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think it should be four. I can also draw circles. So I already know there's five, so I'll draw on from five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I drew on, I counted on from five, and I drew four more circles. So five plus four equals nine. So I think that four of Noelle's cookies are Oreos. Five of them are chocolate chip. So I think four are Oreos to equal nine altogether. Let's see if I was right. Four of his cookies were Oreos. I figured it out. Five chocolate chip plus four Oreos. All right, let's solve some together. All right, you can get a piece of paper so you can write those number sentences with me. This says, Alex and Alexander have six toy trucks. They are playing with four of them. How many are not being used right now? So we know that they're not using all of the trucks right now because they're supposed to have six toy trucks. But right now they only have four toy trucks. So if they have four that they're using right now, four plus how many are they not using equals six altogether. So there's four trucks that they're playing with right now. And then how many are they not using that equals six altogether. So we can count on from four until we get to six. So you're gonna hold up your fingers. So put the number four in your head, say four, five, six. How many toy trucks are they not using? Okay, let's also draw circles to make sure. So four, five, six. How many do we think they're not using? Yeah, I think so too. Let's see if we're right. We were right. Two trucks are not being used right now. So Alex and Alexander have six toy trucks, but they're only using four of them 
two of them are not being used. Four plus two equals six. Okay, let's do this one together. I'll read it. You think about it and be writing on your paper. David and Charlie need eight balloons for a party. So they need to have eight balloons. They have blown up three so far. How many more balloons do they need to blow up? It sounds like they have a lot more to go before they're done with that job. Let's look. So they need to have how many all together? Yeah, they need to have eight. How many do they have right now? Yeah, you can see right there. There's one, two, three. So they have three balloons. So write a three. Three plus what equals how many are they supposed to have all together? Yeah, eight. So you should write an eight at the end. Three plus what equals eight. So how many more balloons do they need to blow up? They've already blown up three. Let's count on until we get to eight, starting at three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I know. Let's draw the circles. We can use that strategy too. So we already know three, count on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. How many do you think they still need to blow up? Write it on your line. I think I know, let's see. Were we right? One, two, three, four, five. They still have five more balloons to blow up. That's a lot of balloons that they still need to do. Okay, now you're going to try to do some by yourself. So I will read them to you, you solve them, and then at the end of the video, I'll go back and show you the answers. And if you haven't finished solving them by the time I'm done, don't listen to the answers until you're done. See if you can solve it by yourself. You can pause the video and finish solving. All right, here yours are. Well, this one's about itself. It says, itself sees a bus go by. So she's seeing a bus go by that has seven kids on it. Four of the kids she sees are girls. How many are boys? So I'll help you make sense of it. It still sees the bus that has seven kids on it. So there's seven all together. Four of the kids are girls. How many are boys? So these are the four girls plus, write that, plus how many boys equals seven. You figure it out. How many of them are boys? If four are girls, how many are boys? To equal seven kids all together. Here's your next one. This says, Kelson and Aaliyah are playing with Play-Doh. There are six Play-Doh containers. Kelson is playing with four Play-Doh containers. How many is Aaliyah playing with? So I'll help you out again. So there are six Play-Doh containers all together. Kelson is playing with four of them. So these are the four that Kelson is playing with plus how many does Aaliyah have that equals six all together? So there's four Play-Doh containers that Kelson has, plus how many does Aaliyah have that equals six? You count on and figure out how many Aaliyah has. You can do it. So let's look at our objective and then I'm going to give you the answers, okay? So our objective today is that the students will be able to solve word problems. And we did that. These are really tricky word problems, but they're a lot of fun. Now we're going to look at the answers. So if you haven't finished solving, you can pause the video and then wait to look at the answers until you're done. But if you need help or you're feeling stuck, watch, okay? Okay, so for it's all seeing the, the bus go by that had seven kids on it, she knew that there were four that were girls. How many were boys? Let's see. So you should have had one, two, three, three boys on the bus. So there were four girls plus 
three boys equals seven all together. So you can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know that our answer is correct. There were three boys because this equals seven all together. Okay, for this one, Kelson and Aaliyah had six Play-Doh containers all together. We knew that Kelson had four. How many did Aaliyah have? Let's look to see. She had two Play-Doh containers. So you should have had the number two. Four plus two equals six. See, look, one, two, three, four, plus one, two equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Six all together. That makes sense. Great job, kindergartners. I'll put some more word problems like this on Class Dojo if you want to do some more practice. Okay, bye for now.